today is March 6, 2023, and I'm here to do our weekly check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels and highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into uh, this week's reading. So this week, um, let's do DM to DF. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the current overall energy of our divine masculine collective towards our divine feminines? Thank you. What do we need to know about our divine masculines towards divine feminine energy? What is the situation surrounding our divine masculine collective towards divine feminine around this time? Please give me clarity and insight in regards to divine masculine towards divine feminine thank you any additional messages that want to come through okay so i see you here secret admirer I'm not ready to reveal my true feelings for you. Also, we have wear and tear. And it says this love is starting to wear on me. Something has to change. Okay. And then finally, we have watching you. <laughs> okay. Watching you on your social media lights up my mood. Okay. So clearly, okay, Divine Masculine is checking out Divine Feminine secretly. I have a feeling like you guys are not really talking. And if you are, okay, they're not telling you their full feelings towards you. Okay. But I really feel like these are for those who are not in contact with their Divine counterpart at this time. Uh, there's a lot that's actually going on with them internally and externally that is actually prohibiting uh, this particular person to come through in the physical towards the divine feminine. Hence the reason why they're watching you, stalking you, secretly admiring so far and so on. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what is going on in their physical life. Spirit, can you tell me a little bit more about this divine masculine in their current physical life? What is their current status or situation? What do we need to know about this divine masculine? Thank you. So there's a reason why they're only watching you. They're clearly not prepared to contact you or communicate to feminines this week. So let's see. Okay, so we have an official person, but it's rain first. So, you know, this could be a job situation. This could be a relationship. So it could mean a few things. So if they're in a state of duality, trying to figure out what it is that they want, I really feel like uh, this masculine is between careers or thinking about um, changing out one career for a different, uh, you know, career position. The other thing I'm also feeling is that they're not stable and they're coming to some sort of energy where they have to make a decision now I really feel like you know behind the scenes they're secretly watching you you know they're checking you out on social media but are they proactive in your life I don't feel this okay um, that's why masculine here hasn't made an official uh, decision now I see her toil and labor and it's in reverse so this just tells me that they're not really working as hard or as much so either um, their work has changed, the requirements of them has changed. Maybe they're looking for new opportunities that is more challenging. Perhaps, you know, the job situation that this masculine is currently in isn't um, challenging enough for them. Okay, so 
you know, they're really thinking about work and they're really thinking about their sense of stability. And I don't know, I really feel like this masculine is definitely on the fence about change. Okay. And I feel mostly it's about work because why? They feel like they're not good enough. So whether or not they're not making enough income or uh, they just feel like, you know, they're not worthy because of how they feel in terms of value. Um, there's a lot that's actually going on. And I really feel like at this time, masculine is actually going through some sort of spiritual uh, revelation or awakening about themselves or about their current situation. And that's what's making them feel bad. So technically, okay, a lot of times what people don't realize is that, you know, we actually make ourselves sick, okay, through the power of mind. So if you think you're not doing well, you're going to manifest that. So, you know, what I would say is that even if this is was you, okay, the, the person who is watching this video, let's just say that you're not feeling well try to transmute your energy try to think positive try to think that you are not sick because um those thoughts can actually manifest even more of that negative energy so this masculine has changed i really feel like they have matured in some way and they are in despair about work so i don't know um this week i really feel like Maybe their job is on the line and nothing isn't really permanent and they're looking, okay, uh, to make some sort of change in their life. Now I see that they're in some sort of despair because of family. Maybe it's about up upkeeping um, the status quo about, you know, how they're, you know, portraying themselves to be in, in, in the public eye. And there's a sudden wealth that is coming towards this masculine, but it's through a loss of a job. So it's a loss of a job. And then there's uh, some sort of marriage. They're really concerned about their marriage. This is what I feel. Some of them receive the severance package. I ain't lying. That's what I feel. I feel like somebody's getting cut off. Like they're getting a, uh, like a pay like a last uh, paycheck or, or something and that should be enough and so I feel like this masculine they're not working that's what it feels like now I know that that's not everyone's story but I have to talk about because uh, I see this right here okay let's see so there's some sort of unexpe uh, unexpected loss and they really can't go on the journey towards feminine okay like they can't even date you right now they are thinking of you okay um but there's something here that they haven't resolved and i feel like it's a core health situation and this karma has expectations so i don't know this has got to be specific for someone and again it's not going to you know be for everyone but maybe bits and pieces could be relatable to you so the main situation that masculine is going through is through the karmic relationship where the karmic has expectations. They're not getting a divorce for materialistic reasons. I really feel like somebody here lost a job or they're in between jobs or maybe there was a cutback in the pay, whatever this energy is, okay? Masculine is still stuck with the karmic for that particular reason, okay? They are thinking of you. They're watching you online. Are they talking to you? Maybe not as much, but I really feel like their career is really important and they can't cut off the karmic for materialistic reasons. And I'm not really thinking it's for, you know, the sake of saving face in front of their friends and family. It could be maybe a part of that. But I really feel like it, it's really financial more than anything. So whoever this karmic person is that they're dealing with, they're just putting up a show for now, okay? Now I'm not exactly sure if this masculine is codependent on that karmic for financial security. For some, it could be because this person looks like they're coming from a wealthy background, okay? Masculine look like they, they po. <laughs> <gasps> looking all dingy and stuff you know coming from uh like a third world country over here you know and that's why they're not feeling good maybe part of the reason is because they are codependent on that karmic 
let's see, because I really feel like that's why this masculine, they're watching you feminine, okay? This love is starting to wear on them and they're secretly admiring you, but they're not telling this to you, okay? Because I really feel like they're codependent on this person because they have status, they have money, they have security, Okay, and it may not be directly because of them. I really feel like it's because of their parents. Okay, like they come from a wealthy background. At least this is what it looks like. It, again, this is not everyone's story, but it's, it's showing up here in today's reading. So let's go ahead and see what else. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the current overall energy of this masculine towards feminine in the present moment? How do they currently think of you? How do they feel? What do they want? And what is the outcome? What is the energy and vibration that is connected to this masculine? and feminine at this time you know and, I, and what i'm hearing is that this masculine came from a broken family and as they were growing up they never had much to begin with and so they saw opportunity to stay with this particular karmic because this karmic came from a um a prestigious or wealthy background okay and if it's not that prestigious prestigious um at least you know they have uh they're coming from you know, a better environment and situation than this masculine when they were growing up as a child. And masculine found comfort and security in that particular relationship. Okay, so that, that must be very clear for someone who is watching this. Let's see. Hold on. Sorry, guys, I had to get water. I feel, I don't know, thirsty. <laughs> All right. Dang, look at this. We have your three of swords. Masculine is heartbroken. They're feeling lonely. There's a lot of trauma and loss coming from this masculine. And um, the truth is being revealed to them that... They know that they're going through a karmic lesson and they have uh, themselves to blame, not you. What this masculine is realizing that they need to let go and learn to say no um, because they are stressed. And I really feel like they're not feeling very stable. You know, they lack the sense of stability. That's why they couldn't really offer this to you. And that is why they're staying stuck on the karmic is because materialistically, it just feels safer in that direction. But just to let you know, masculine is having conflict with the karmic and there's some ex unexpected changes that's actually happening um, in, in that situation where masculine is still dealing with the karmic. And I really see that they are looking towards the future. They're making plans to be with you. Okay, so this might happen within a couple of months. It may not happen now. So they don't know what to do. There's a lot of obstacles that is getting in the way for them to contact or communicate to you. Hence, you know, that is why they're only watching on social media. And right now, they don't know if they can make a sound decision because they're feeling insecure. They really don't feel very good to open up towards you at this time, but they are thankful for the experience, the life lessons that they had to learn. And now this masculine is feeling motivated and focused on what they want in terms of long-term stability and security. So this is in regards to family, okay, or having long-term relationships. So they realize that they are cheap, maybe 
um, they were dishonest. They were using the karmic for financial security. Again, like, I don't know, like this is very different than I, what I normally channel. So like I say, it may not resonate for everyone, but there's a particular masculine that is codependent on a karmic for financial gain. And it's because they feel like they're not good enough. And this is a personal issue that I'm feeling coming from this particular masculine. Okay, that they're feeling challenged and that there's competition. So, you know, depending on, you know, how old this masculine is, you know, at this uh, stage in the game, perhaps this masculine feels like, you know, they're comparing themselves to other people's successes and, you know, they, they feel like they need to stay with the karma just to save, you know, um, their status, okay, in front of their friends and family. But I really feel that they're really guarded because they possibly backstab and betrayed you for this sense of security. Okay, so, you know, for some of my Indian uh, people who are watching this, you possibly know better than I that um, you guys marry in your social class and that you don't marry above or below um, your, your social standing, right? So I really feel like someone here with, uh, you know, some sort of upper class, it could be upper class or lower class, but I feel like this particular person, um, they're only in it for because that is what they feel like they need to do, not because they love that person, okay? I just feel like I have to tell this to somebody, and um, that's why, you know, they're not feeling very stable, and they feel like they have to overcommit themselves in a situation because this person does not feel secure. Something is going on with this person's job or status, okay? And they have to be codependent on the other person for, you know, stability. So, you know, they're not feeling very secure at this time and they don't feel successful. That's why they're really disappointed in how things are playing out right now. Now, I really feel like universe is uh, putting this masculine into this position, so that masculine can free themselves so they can find true happiness and be successful. So it's possibly putting masculine in a position so that they can make a choice to change. And I see that there is some sort of idea here where uh, masculine's intuition is blocked, you know, in regards to having a new beginning and walking away from a situation that doesn't really serve them by breaking free from the karmic finally getting a divorce, finally freeing themselves. So, I mean, this is, okay, so this is very similar to, um, I think it was the Scorpio reading. So that was the last reading I did. Okay, but um, it could actually go back to last week's Twin Flame reading also. Someone needs to break free from a karmic situation, okay, that you guys have free will to choose whether or not you want to do this or not. It really depends on the individual if you've learned your lesson and if you're ready to fix things for yourself or you can choose to, to stay stuck in that situation and keep uh, perpetuating, um, you know, uh, true happiness and freedom from being codependent. Or, or allowing ego to get in the way of, you know, f really freeing yourself and being happy, truly happy. Not this fake happy, okay? That is what I'm saying. And this karmic is very jealous. And they could be causing trouble because, um, you know, I see that this masculine wants reunion with the feminine. But because masculine is codependent on the karmic... The karmic is using that as leverage, okay, to control or manipulate the masculine to do whatever that they need to do. So that's what I'm seeing here this week. That That's not very good, but, you know, I see that masculine is making some sort of plan to have a new beginning to end the cycle with the karmic, okay? And they're going to do so by confessing about their truth, about how they ran away from the connection with you or maybe towards the karmic and then having their wishes fi finally coming true about uh, establishing fame, you know, maybe having sex or, or anything, having all that they need. I really feel like um, 
This is a confession from this masculine towards feminine. Now that truth may hurt and that might, you know, you know, tinge, you know, what masculine was in feminine's eyes, especially if you put masculine on a pedestal. But I really feel like uh, this masculine is trying to do things the right way by taking their time so that uh, they can work on the situation and really end this conflict that they have, okay, by making a decision here to get a divorce. So eventually this masculine will get a divorce. It may not be right now. For some, you may hear from this masculine within two months, okay? It's going to be different for everyone as far as the timing is concerned, but um, that is what I'm seeing here specifically for this collective. And that is where the karmic justice will come in and truth will prevail. The life lessons will be learned from this particular masculine, masculine about dealing with the karmic and really finding uh, the strength to go through this. Okay, and it's through the power of divine feminine. Feminine taming this masculine's ego. Okay, um, you know, because feminine, you always put up this masculine, you know, on that pedestal. And masculine always, you know, you know, maybe they're in needy of that particular energy. And they, you know, they thought that they're all gung-ho without you. But here they are, you know, with the karmic. And they don't feel that way with the karmic. Okay, now this masculine realizes that, you know, you really cared about them. It wasn't about their social status or, you know, how much that they're bringing in. It was because you generally love them. Okay, that is what I'm seeing. So that's why they're heartbroken this week. You know, as much as this masculine wants to come through and communicate to you, feminine. If they're stuck on some karmic situation. You know, they can't really offer you 100% at this time. But with time, I really feel like um, they will come through. Okay. It's just a matter of time. But I really feel like they're still stuck in a karmic contract. Because why? The karmic has expectations. The karmic is saving the masculine from, you know, I guess their reputation or about, you know, their sense of stability. Now... Okay, masculine is thinking a lot. There's a lot of stuff that's going on in this masculine's head. Now, they do hope that you guys can get it together. They're going to do whatever it takes. So if they're going on their own time. I have a feeling like some of these masculines, they're not telling you their plans. They're keeping it a secret. Okay. Now, how do they feel? You know, they feel like, you know, this is a difficult decision that they have to make. You know, they were in denial that they do love you or they do care. And also, they're in denial that they are codependent on the karmic for whatever circumstance that they're currently in. And this masculine is seeing that you are the one that they really want. You, you spiritually awaken them and you make them see, you know, stuff that they don't want to see about themselves. And they realized that, you know, they were in some sort of relationship. There were strings attached and they were greedy and they were fake. And that's why they manifest a relationship with the karmic. I'm not saying that the karmic is all greedy and fake also. Okay. Maybe they have some aspects of that, you know, but it's not like um, obvious. Okay. I really feel like this is like uh, subconscious energies that I'm picking up where both parties, masculine and the karmic, are unaware that they are enabling like that, those types of behaviors. But that's what I'm seeing here, you know, and that's why I really feel like masculine is connected to the feminine spiritually through mind to mind connection. So feminines, if you've been thinking of this masculine and you're still not seeing this masculine show up and it's been years, trust me, I know it's been four years for me. I haven't seen mine in forever. Just know, okay, that they are thinking of you, but they, they're, they're not ready to approach you. They're still stuck in whatever situation that they're in. And I really feel like masculine is going through some sort of awakening. Their intent is to really 
really choose themselves for once, okay? Not other people, but them. By practicing self-love, okay? Because this masculine has been holding back their true feelings. And they're having the tower moment, okay? Something has shifted in their conscious reality about who they are, what they've been doing, you know, how they didn't really choose themselves, okay? They thought that they did, but they realized that they were like selfish and greedy. And is that a, an attribute of themselves that they like? No. What I really feel like is that this masculine caught a glimpse about their childhood and about what they didn't have as a child. And they saw opportunity with this karmic to get out of that mindset or that image that they had experienced as a younger kid and if this masculine had children they wanted to do better for their children also so they kind of like chose for their kids and also for themselves to stay stuck in a karmic relationship okay just to i don't know try to get out of this mindset of what they grew up with or what they grew up, the environment that they grew up in, and, and really thinking that by choosing the karmic, that everything would go away, everything is going to be so much better, okay? But it was really just, I don't know, seems like an easy way out. That's what it feels like. And that's the revelation that this masculine is seeing. Okay, it's because they didn't really love themselves. They they were going about it the wrong way. Were they choosing love or were they choosing an attachment, okay, to some sort of material thing that they didn't have? That's what this looks like. Now, in the outcome, look at this, money. It's always about the money. Okay, so... In the outcome, masculine is still holding on because they're afraid to lose whatever that they have, okay? Now, they've really corrupted their mindset and it was because of their greed. It was, you know, um, poor decision-making on their part. Also, this masculine felt poor. Remember, in, in earlier on in the Kipper cards, okay, we saw that masculine you know, feel poor. This is how they really feel. Now, the only reason why they, they would feel like this is possibly because of their childhood, okay? Or maybe that is the current situation that's currently going on. But I really feel like this visual is a perpetual thing that manifests or keeps manifesting into this masculine's physical reality because of something that happened to them that they haven't really healed from. So this is trauma wounding, okay, that I'm seeing here. And that's why, you know, they're always in this bad health. Like I said, there's a reason why, okay, people, you know, kind of do it to themselves. It, it's their mental health. That's why mental health is a thing. And um, also, okay, they realize that they didn't really care and they feel like they're at a loss. Now, why why is it that this masculine doesn't care and they're holding on to this money? Because all the thing that they think is that money buys, you know, freedom, happiness, and everything, you know, that they so desire. But what I'm really feeling is that this masculine never really experienced true love, okay? They don't understand what love is. That's why, you know, they're unhappy in a relationship, okay? Um, that is built off of material stability. So I see here the lovers and it's the soulmate card, right? This masculine really wants union with you feminine. They really do. But they realize that they were holding on to the wrong thing. So they are making some sort of change. There's an opportunity, but masculine is inflexible. They're really controlling, hence this um, attachment that they have towards whatever they got going on in their physical life and their idea of you is a secret, okay? And um, there is an opportunity for this masculine to get away from being inflexible, okay? Um, there's a, there is an opportunity for them to come and meet you and be honest. This is like a quick window, 
Okay, whether or not it happens this week, that's a potential. So you could get a visit from this masculine about how they were caught up with their finances or why they never felt good enough for you. You know, um, I really feel like that there is some kind of like undertones of that energy that's coming through collectively with this masculine um, collective that I'm channeling for today. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So look at this masculine is wanting to feel successful they're riding on their high horse over here they're now getting the self-confidence okay to plan and really practice this patience especially if it's been seven years and to really pause and reflect about how they need to let go of the karmic situation how they need to let go of you know feeling like they need to uh, hold on to the karmic because i really feel like the karmic is expecting for this masculine to stay with them that's some hard truth like that that's what i'm seeing here this week guys that's why they're watching you they still haven't gone through this courthouse decision okay maybe they're stalling okay uh maybe it hasn't fully gone through it's gonna be different for everyone that's why masculine can't go on the journey towards you because they unexpectedly lost some money they weren't planning on it and universe is throwing a monkey wrench and this masculine again twin flame connection is not easy okay especially if a karmic is involved so now masculine's karma is dealing with the karmic okay and poor masculine okay they're just sitting here watching you watching you on your social media and seeing you online makes them happy okay when they you know uh, cut that thing off and they're looking around them in their physical environment they're not happy because the reality is that you're not there with them you used to you used to talk to them you used to laugh and giggle and you know talk about nonsensical things and you guys would just get one another but not this week unless this masculine uh you know ha has the opportunity to get on their bike and come visit you you know so it's the mental capacity of this masculine if they want change change is not going to happen if they're going to sit and watch you online and like i said this is not going to be for every masculine but if the masculine has truly worked on themselves and they're ready to get out of that perpetual cycle on that hamster wheel with the karmic then they need to really make a decision about what it is that they want because if the masculine is not sure okay you're not going to hear from the masculine this week okay because they're clearly not ready okay especially if it has something to do with their sense of stability and security dealing with the karmic that's what i'm seeing guys hmm, interesting so let's see what is the confession from this masculine what does the masculine want to confess towards divine feminine what is the confession please spirit Sometimes I just don't know how to reply or express what's inside of me, but I do read and write up what I want to send back. I just freeze up and delete it. So again, this masculine has thought about communicating to you, but they just don't know how. They don't know how, you know, that's what I'm seeing. Spirit, is there uh, anything else? Wow. What else does this mask want to confess towards feminine energy? Oh, that's too much. Yeah. All right, we'll just take this bunch right here. Uh, this card says, I feel like you deserve way more. That's the one that showed up. I will always forgive the mistakes you make. Okay, in case you made a mistake. <laughs> Uh, your scent is addictive and I swear I can smell you when you're gone. So this mask remembers your pheromones, your scent. Your voice is so sexy. I just want to hear you tell me what you want me to do to you next. So, you know, um, they love the sound of your voice, feminine. Okay, that is what I'm seeing. So let's see. 
What love language does this masculine want to show towards feminines this week? What is the love language? Especially if they're not talking to you, but if they come up and communicate to you this week, this is what to expect. Well, we have your shared goals. Masculine, I uh, would like to share some goals with you. Also, we have lunch dates. Masculine would like to take you out on a lunch date or meet you for lunch. Also courting, masculine wants to date feminine, okay, by going on a lunch date. And look, movie date. Like there's a bunch of dating that's going on. Masculine wants you to take you out to the movies. They want to take you out to lunch. They want to date you. They want to, uh, you know, share their goals with you and see what you think. And also we have cooking your favorite meal. Like this masculine wants to play house. <laughs> They want to take you out for lunch, invite you over, cook you a meal. Oh my God, and look, <laughs> we have proposal. So this masculine definitely wants you feminine for long term. That's the secret. I really feel like this masculine really wanted to propose to you. They want, they really want you, okay? They're stuck on some sort of situation with a karmic, okay? And it's really up to them if they're going to end it once and for all. You know, right now, financially, they're not doing so well, okay? Whether or not the karmic is codependent on them or them vice versa, whatever. But I feel like there's something financial that is holding that masculine back to be with you, okay? Um, that's what it seems like. And they really want to be with you in a monogamous way where they're just choosing you, okay? Not, not everybody else. Okay, especially if your masculine was a player in the past, especially if your masculine chose a karmic over you, this masculine wants to get out of that karmic situation because they really, they really think of you as their long term, your the ten of pentacles. That that's something to really consider, feminine. Okay, especially if you know you've been waiting on this masculine, and you know. You're waiting on them, not like, you know, just blocking everyone out, right? Like you seriously considered other options and you know in your heart of hearts that your divine counterpart is the one for you, okay? You know, this masculine is thinking of you, especially if they're not talking to you. So let's go ahead and see what is the advice from Spirit. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the advice that you have for this collective? What is the advice? Wow, we have to be fair. And it's number 38, which is the number 11, right? So dealing with third party situations and working on something, which I feel like that's what's going on right now with this masculine. So 38... It says balance, justice, and need to consider options, mutual benefit to the law of cause and effect. The oracle message is life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing. Yet over time, they strike a balance. You move from being, from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving to letting go, to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at in this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Now, I really feel like that's true for this masculine. To be fair, I mean... You deserved it, masculine. And I feel like that's what the uh, message is from the universe. And to be fair, okay, feminine, you've sacrificed so much and you've really healed yourself. And to be fair, you know, someone who is good for you will, will appear in your life. Whether or not it's this masculine or not. You know, masculine chose someone else, you know, over the feminine, you know, and the feminine deserves happiness as well. But feminines, you know, your 
Your karma was to learn not to be needy and codependent on this masculine and to really learn self-love. Masculine only had to learn self-love by choosing a karmic relationship. So the ways that masculine feminine have have um, dealt with their karma is through different means, okay? That is what I'm seeing. Whether or not you're, you're the feminine or masculine energy, if you're masculine, you learn karma through dealing with the karmic feminine. You dealt with it by being alone. And as you're being alone, like choosing, you know, multiple relationships, okay, similar to divine masculine over here. That is where, you know, you needed to learn that you need to give yourself love in order to be loved in the right way. Because if you don't love yourself, then how how else in the world is someone going to love you in the way that you want to be loved and, and respected in that way? So the relationship message is, can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There is so much to be learned and you will learn if you remain open and objective, weighing options and considering all sides. Again, I really feel like it would be beneficial, okay, if you want a relationship with this particular counterpart is to have a heart to heart discussion, hence the goals. Okay, do you guys share the same goals? What do you guys want? Are you guys on two different wavelengths? Now, this could be something that masculine does with the karmic. So, hey, masculine, if you're watching this, you can practice this exercise with your karmic. Okay, and see what are the shared goals that you have between the two of you. And then you can compare your shared goals with the feminine. Which goals do, do you resonate more with? Is it still with the karmic? Or, you know, is it with the feminine? Or, you know, do your goals need to just be, you know, goals that you need to achieve on your own, not with other people? So you can make many goals at this time and really compare, like, where, where do you want to spend your energy? Okay, because as time goes, you'll never get that time back. Okay, especially in a li linear 3D world. Okay, all right, so your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is a mutual benefit and that each party feels heard, valued, and respected. Be fair to all. So, if you're not being fair, okay. Um, do you think that is going to go anywhere? No. And if you guys don't see eye to eye, you have to find a compromise. And if you can't find compromise, guess what? There's going to be trouble in paradise. <laughs> and I really feel like that's the message that Spirit wanted to relay towards this collective. So I hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.